to reset the battle. After the flashing is over, we reactivate the tank and destroy any bullet in the screen. Then we pick all the tanks and place them in their starting point at the right angle. The last part in the core gameplay is keeping the score. To achieve this, I will use my preferred method, which is a custom display counter. We will set the display for player 1 and for player 2. And you can check how this works in detail in this video. So for each tank, we set the score to the variable score. To add points to each tank score, in the collision event between bullet and tank, we pick all tanks and then check if tank's player number is equal to bullet's shooter. And we add one point to that tank. So that covers the basic mechanics of combat. So far it's a playable game, not very comfortable for a local multiplayer since you have to share the keyboard. In the next videos we'll be showing you how to set up a basic online multiplayer feature for your game. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like or share it with your friends, and if you want to support me you can get one of my templates on the Zero Store. That helps a lot.